Hi, this is Angela Starkman. I'm AV advisor at MemoQ. I think that also audiovisual translation can be supported by using translation technology, even though we have to understand that it is not exactly the same as for other forms of translation. I often receive questions how to deal with SRC files when working on AV translations. So today I have prepared a short tutorial for you shedding more light on this topic. Let's have a quick look at our topic today. You are being asked to translate a video and you know that MemoQ can help you with this. Still, there are some things unclear here. Where can you create the video subtitles you will later translate in Excel or SRT format? And what is that SRT format in the first place? What are the technical requirements that come with a timed source text and how can you work with them? and which requirements should you maybe communicate towards your customer. It is important for you to remember that subtitle translation usually means the transfer from spoken language, audio, to written language. This is different than we are normally used to as translators. The purpose of this session is to help you understand the main principles of AV translation with MemoQ and learn how to work with SRT files. Please note down your questions and comments and look out for the next Q&A session on this topic. If you tell us you're interested, we will send you an email with additional information. You can also send your questions, comments and topic requests to angela.starkman at memoq.com or add a comment below. Some general remarks about different forms of AV translations. A video consists of images and audio over time. A subtitle translates the audio into written language. But there are different ways audiovisual translation can be treated. Subtitles are the written text under or next to the images of the film translating spoken words into another language. Before a text can be subtitled, a so-called video template, mostly in English, needs to be created. It covers all spoken language. Text for dubbing is still spoken language, but it needs to be written down for the voice artist to be read. It also contains description of the situation or how something is said and a timecode indicating about when the speaker in the film says something. But there are also other forms of audiovisual translations. Images in subtitled films usually remain unchanged. We see the same images in all languages. Sometimes there is also forced narrative FN text available. This is a text overlay to clarify communication or give the viewer additional information. Subtitles can also be created to give access to a film for hearing impaired audience, SDH. In this case, also information about sounds and the person who speaks needs to be added. In this context, I need to clarify an ambiguous term. In audiovisual translation, a template is the source text with the time codes, for instance in SRT format. It is what we need to work on in order to get the translator's subtitles afterwards. For the purpose of our presentation today, I'm going to call this a video template. In MemoQ, a project template helps you create MemoQ projects very quickly and consistently. A project template is a collection of settings, commands and scripts that help to create a new project where documents and resources are processed automatically and the project manager has very little to do. In the context of translation technology with MemoQ, I'm going to call this a MemoQ template. The duration of a film is typically marked by a time code. A time code is a technical method to synchronize several technical devices very precisely by adding numeric codes at regular intervals. The time code can start anywhere and end just when the film is over again. A film with 45 minutes duration would therefore start at 0 minutes and end at 45 minutes. While the film goes on, the time code is following, 
giving us always a precise indication when something is happening exactly. In order to create a subtitle, you have to indicate the precise time when it starts and ends to be seen by the viewer. The time codes of a typical subtitle can therefore look something like this you can see here on this page. The MemoQ Video Preview Tool is a MemoQ app that helps you when you are translating video subtitles in SRT or Excel format. There is a separate tutorial how to link the Video Preview Tool to MemoQ and how to use it. It does not create these video subtitles, just like it doesn't generate files in Word or InDesign or other formats. There are other technologies who do this before you start working with MemoQ. After a subtitle file is imported into MemoQ, it can communicate with MemoQ and shows exactly the part of the video that you are currently working on in relation to the video template you want to translate. There are many different subtitle formats. MemoQ works only with SRT and Excel, we think the most important ones. But you can mostly open the file in a freeware subtitle editor and then save it in the format you need. For subtitles, the text is aligned with the audio curve. Ideally, it should start when the speaker begins and ends as soon as the speaker has ended. For fast or chaotic speakers or long languages, truncating or editing of text is often needed. Below you see the audio curve of the sentence, I am giving you a presentation on subtitling today. I hope it is interesting for you just as much as for myself. You see that how there are pauses between individual words and also between sentences and how a subtitle of a certain length is made from it. You can use the following checklist when a customer is sending you audiovisual material for translation. You may ask them the following questions. What format is your video? Do you have a source text template available? In what format? Do you have a script available without the time codes? Do you have any other formal requirements? What about reading speed? Would you like it in words per minute or characters per second? What is the maximum length of a line? How many lines maximum? What is the bit rate? What is the source language? What is the video template language? What is the target language? Do you have any style requirements for the translation? Did I forget anything important here? Please add it in the comments below. There are many different subtitle editors, but none of them offer the advanced translation functionalities MemoQ does. Therefore, I am suggesting that you use MemoQ for the translation and an editor you like for some additional file handling as needed. Check out this list here and add other editors in the comment if you know any. There are also some tools for the automated template creation. They might be useful if you just receive a video without video template. But bear in mind that you will always need to check and edit these automated templates before you can work with them. Let's now have a quick look on the business background of MemoQ again. MemoQ is a computer-assisted translation environment tool which runs on MS Windows operating systems. There are different versions available for individual translators and language service providers or client companies, and we will gladly assist you choosing the one right for you and your particular needs. MemoQ offers reuse of your translation through databases, translation memories. Productivity and quality assurance features enhance the efficiency of your work and help you keep high quality standards. MemoQ has a set of collaboration features for translation agencies or teams of translators. It is compatible with many different tools and formats.
You can find additional information about MemoQ on the website www.memoq.com. Have you already seen my blog articles on the translation of audiovisual files? They can be accessed via the MemoQ website and offer different insights particularly relevant for AV translators. An article on the checklist in this presentation will also be published there soon. If you have questions or comments, add them down below or send them directly to me via my email address angela.starkman at memoq.com. You can also connect with MemoQ or with me via Facebook or LinkedIn. Okay, we have reached the end of this demo again. I hope that it was helpful for you and I thank you all for your interest and time. Audiovisual translation is a fascinating and exciting business and we should all work together to create a new standard of professionality and collaboration for our line of business. Keep going strong.